What's up guys, hope you're doing great. This is your boy Kobe Shots. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can smoothen out crumpled background as well as costumes if your model happens to have that in her dress. So let's get right into it without much ado. So this is the image that we are going to be looking at and readily I noticed that there are crumples back there in the background. That's by virtue of the light hitting the background from over the top of the subject. And uh, also another reason can be how much proximity you have from your background to your subject. So looking at this particular situation that we have here we are going to have to fix it of course well better still if you want to leave it as it is you cannot you know overlook the crumpled dress that she has and we need to smoothen it out but personally i want to smoothen both um faults where we have the background as the first fault and the dress as the second so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate my background layer by hitting ctrl j all right on my keyboard and once that's duplicated for me what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to filter then to blur then to gaussian blur all right so looking at the shot you can zoom in and look at the picture very closely i'm going to increase my blur all the way so much to the point where i barely see the blurriness in the background or in the dress all right but first of all let's look at the background and we're going to create yet another layer for just the dress so you're paying attention to the background and i think this works if you don't take care you're going to have a lot of banding in the background so i will advise that you don't overdo the blurriness for the background okay especially if you have a plain background like i do so i'm going to hit okay once my layer is blurred i'm going to create a mask so that i single out just the background so the first i'm going to do of course is to make sure that the mask is active i'm going to hit ctrl i to invert the mask then with a brush tool i'm going to paint in white on the black mask in exactly the areas of the backdrop all right so with an opacity of 100 and a flow of 100 i'm gonna smoothen out the background all right so just pay attention to how much smooth we are given to the background or how smooth the background is turning into all right so we're just gonna clean in the areas and let's zoom out and see how far we've come before and after before and after significantly we've been able to create some smoothing over there but i noticed that i overbrushed into a territory that i'm not supposed to so i'm going to invert to a black um, brush and clean back or bring back the disrupted area all right so let's get back to the white and continue to smoothen out our background okay so we're gonna do that all the way until we see no crumpling okay zoom out All right let's inspect before after before and after okay so let's duplicate this layer once more to intensify the effect and uh, I'm going to group these two before after before and after so you notice that the background is smoothing out just quite a bit i didn't overdo it because i don't want to take out so much nature or so much realism from the shot okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create yet another layer for just the dress okay so with the background layer selected i'm going to hit ctrl j and with the same process, I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then um, let's reduce the radius a little bit. Okay. I think it's smoothing out a bit. Let's look at how it looks before. And how it looks after. Before and after. Okay. So I think I can deal with this. All right. So yet again, we're going to create a mask and control I to invert. All right, so I'm gonna clean here on the dress. So I'm gonna increase my brush too. And with my pen on my Wacom tablet, I'm going to brush on the dress just like so, in the manner or in the direction I want the dress to be smoothened out. Okay. 
so of course we notice that it has become quite unreal it looks too smoothing out so we can do two things right we can reduce the opacity of the effect okay make it gradual firstly okay so you see a little bit of the wrinkles in there just quite a bit let's zoom out and see okay so before and after all right so now the most prominent ones are what we are going to actually eliminate so i'm going to group all the layers here and make it as one layer right like that with control shift alt and e and uh as my layer has been created i'm going to use um the patch tool okay then i'm going to select or circle around the wrinkles the most prominent ones and i'll just clean them out just like you're healing the skin okay so just like so like so just like so all right so just take your time i didn't just end up at the point where i did a smoothing but i'm going ahead with reducing the effect of the smoothing and actually going into the dress to smoothen out the wrinkles by eliminating them okay all right like so so we still maintain our dress and it looks real okay so let's look at how it looked before this is how everything looked before check the background and check the dress and this is how it looks after before and after and that is how I go about the process of smoothing my background as well as smoothing the dress of my images. So you can give it a try. And uh, of course, this has been Copy Shots and this has been my tutorial on how to do this. Try it out and check down in the description. I have my LUTs as well as my presets to Lightroom. If you want to give it a try, you can do so by downloading it and uploading or importing them into your software and i'm sure you're gonna love it so subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification button so that you'll be notified the next time i upload a new video until the next video have a wonderful day see you